Hi everybody, it's Lisa here from Rocco Baby Crochet. I am so excited and I can't thank you all enough. Last week we hit the 1000 subscribers over the moon and so excited. I felt like I needed to come and just say hi to you all. I don't think I've been present that much over the last couple of months. Life has been so busy and hectic with other things going on in the background, but I have always been constantly working on new patterns to bring to you and we're going to restart it again every week with a new tutorial. We're starting this week with something that's really beginner friendly. It's a super quick little project, 30 minute tops. Goes down the storm in my Etsy shop. So if you're looking to sell things at craft fairs on your Etsy shop, this is the one to go. It's just, it's a little, little, little thing. So it's a pacifier clip. So you just attach your clip here, you pacify her there, and then your baby doesn't lose its stomach. But they do go down the storm at craft fairs, and they do sell really well at Etsy. So there's going to be a free written pattern over on the website, www.rockobabycrochet.com. So if you prefer a written pattern, then go along to there, and there's going to be this tutorial supporting it. So again, a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel. It means so, so much to me. I'm really, really excited about what's coming up in the future for Rocco Baby. Um, don't forget the Facebook page. So if you've not already joined that, it's a great way to show any of your mates, a bit of inspiration for other people. It doesn't have to be one of the Rocco Baby crochet designs. It's just a bit of community that we've got going on over there. So head over there if you've not. The website which has got the free written patterns for you all and the tutorials are here on YouTube. So let's get into what you need to make the pacifier holder. Okay, so this is everything you're going to need to make one of these pacifier clips. So I'm using the Stylecraft Naturals Bamboo and Cotton and this is colour lavender. I've got a pair of scissors, a darning needle and one of the clips to attach to the um, ribbon that we're going to make. And although this suggests a 3.5mm hook, I go down to a 2.5mm hook. I like it to be a little bit tighter because they are going to be used quite a lot, pulled, tugged on and washed quite a bit. So I want to make sure that it maintains its shape as well. So I do go down um, two hook sizes to two and a half millimetre. The beginning of the video, I showed you one which was more of a sort of neutral shade. It's exactly the same range. It's the Style Craft Naturals Bamboo and Cotton, but it's in this colour here and this is called Pumice. And they go lovely together to sell in a set if, you, if you're wanting to pair them up with one another. Um, so that's pumice. And the one that I'm going to be making in this video is using the lavender. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so to begin with, you want to take your yarn and we're going to make a slip knot. Insert your hook and pull onto your working end of yarn just to tighten that knot up onto your hook. We're going to start off by chaining six. So you want to yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through six times, four, five and six. And then we're going to slip stitch to this very first chain here just to form a ring. And into the centre of this, so if I pull that apart, you can see that I've got a ring there. So into this ring is where we're going to work our first puff stitch. I always carry across my loose ends just to make everything a little bit more secure. So you want to chain three. And then to work your first puff stitch, what you want to do is you yarn over, insert your hook into this chain six ring here and pull up a long loop. So you want it in similar height to what your chain three is. Mine's about a centimetre tall. And you're going to do that in total five times. So that's two, three, four, 
and five. And you have um, a total of 11 loops on your hook. So what you want to do is you want to yarn over and take off the first 10 loops on your hook. And then just to secure this puff stitch, you want to yarn over and take off your last two loops on your hook. Then we're going to make our next one. So you want to chain three again and you're going to turn your work and we're going to work again into this chain three space here. So that's going to be where we work our second puff stitch. It's going to be exactly the same as the first. So you're going to yarn over, pull up a long loop and do that a total of five times. Four and five. So you'll have 11 loops on your hook. Yarn over and take off the first 10 loops, leaving your two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the last two and secure that stitch. Chain three, turn your work and we're working into this chain three space now. So we're going to place our next puff stitch there. So you're going to yarn over and pull up a long loop and repeat that until you've got 11 loops on your hook. Yarn over, take off your first 10 loops and then yarn over, secure the stitch and take off your last two. So you can see we've done three puff stitches now. So you want to continue doing this pattern of popping a puff stitch into each of your chain three spaces all the way up. I do it a total of 24 puff stitches. So I've got my first three. I just need to do 21 more now. That gives me around sort of eight to nine inches in length for this pacifier clip, which I think is a really nice length. If you want it longer or shorter, then just adjust the amount of puff stitches that you do into what best suits you so if you want to hit pause until you get it to the length that you need and then come back to me and I'll show you how we work the edging okay okay so I'm just going to do my last puff stitch here and then I've got a total of 24 puff stitches two three four and five, yarn over, take off my 10 loops and then secure it by yarning over and pulling through my last two loops. And if we look at that now, we should have 24 um, puff stitches going along. So let's count two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Lovely. So what we don't do, we don't turn our work now. We're just gonna chain one and then into this side stitch here which has secured your puff stitch so if you can just see it here you have a line of yarn just holding together your puff stitch you're going to place one single crochet into that space and then you're going to chain five one two three four and five and you're going to place a single crochet into this space here Just like that so you can see it's just your space after that last puff stitch that you've done so then you're going to chain five again two three four and five and into your next space just below your next puff stitch you're going to place another single crochet just there and you're going to do that all the way along chaining five followed by a single crochet into that chain space just below each of the puff stitches. Four and five. I'm gonna pop that one there. So if you want to press pause while you work your way along, we do it a little bit differently at the end. So when you're coming up to around here, then come back to me and I'll show you how we go around the base of this. Okay, so if you want to hit pause now and I'll meet you back down towards the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to do my last two, three, four, five, my last chain five and pop it underneath that puff stitch there. And then that brings us to this corner here. 
So what you want to do here is you just want to chain three, one, two, three, place a single crochet and then go back to chaining five, one, two, three, four and five and we're going to connect that to just underneath this puff stitch now. So move your loose end out of the way, don't get that caught up. And you're just going to insert your hook there underneath that next puff stitch and place a single crochet or double crochet. Single is American, double is UK. I think I've been American in this video, have I? <laughs> so you keep doing that all the way along. And then just connect it with a single crochet. Yeah, so I taught myself to crochet off YouTube. And when I first um, learned to crochet, I didn't realise that there was different uh, abbreviations in the UK and American terminology. I didn't realise there was any difference. So sometimes I'll automatically go to um, American terminology I seem to watch a lot more Americans than there was sort of British people doing it. So an American single crochet is what is referred to in the UK as a double crochet. Two, three, four, five. We're nearly at the end now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Place your stitch in that hole. One, oops, one, third time lucky. One, two, three, four, five, place that underneath that puff stitch there. So I'm just going to do my last chain three and then we're going to attach this chain three to the first single crochet that we did in this round with a slip stitch. So insert your hook into the top of that single crochet, pull through a loop and then pull that through the first loop on the hook. What you want to do now is we want to make the um, loop which is going to attach the pacifier onto this ribbon. So you want to chain 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14 and then you just go into go straight back down to where your chains are coming out of that very first single crochet from the round below and you're going to slip stitch it to make the loop so insert your hook into the top of that single crochet pull up a loop and pull straight through so we're going to move directly from here over to this chain space here into each of these chain spaces including the ones at the bottom and this one back up here at the top which only can, has um, three chains we're going to place six single crochets in each of them so you go directly from this slip stitch into this chain five space and place six single crochets so you're inserting your hook underneath those chains pulling up a loop yarn over and pull through and do that six times. So that's three, four, five. You might just want to pull them round a little bit to fit them all in. And then six. And then you're going to move directly into this next one here. One, two, three. it 
and you're just going to do this all the way down and even the chain three spaces that we did at the end of each row they are all going to have six US singles UK doubles in them so you will definitely have to sort of pull those rounds a little bit to get them in um, but work your way down these are the ones that I mean these little these shorter ones here where we just did the chain three you're still going to place six stitches there so work your way all the way down and back up and I'll meet you back up here at the top and I'll show you just how we finish this off Okay, so I'm back at my very last chain three space and I'm just going to place my six US singles, UK doubles, two, three, four, five, scoot them round a little bit and six. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a slip stitch. Just move that out of the way a little bit. So pull my hook through that strand, through that loop. Chain one. I'm going to leave about six inches of yarn just to tie in the ends because we want to make sure these are tied in really securely because they're going to, you know, they're for a little baby and they do a, a lot of sort of pulling and tugging on things. So you want to make sure you tie these ends in really securely. Pull up on that loop, pull through your loose ends, hold on to that and pull your loose end and that just secures the knot. And there we have it basically. Let's have a look at what we have. So that is pretty much it. I'm just going to tie in these loose ends and just show you how I attach the little clippers onto this end here so we, you can attach it to um, clothes or to the car seat or anything like that. Right, so I've just threaded my darning needle and I'm just going to pass this underneath my stitches here and I'm just going to take it up just take your time, just catching under the back loops of these stitches, just so it's not um, going to be visible on what is going to be the front of this work. And then I just go under a couple of these stitches. They're quite tight, these stitches. Just take your time. Pull it through, try not to pull it too too tight that it changes the shape, skip one stitch and pass it back and then I go a little bit further on this side, like that, pull it through, skip your first stitch and underneath those same rows of stitches. I've got both the kitty cats here chasing wool if you can hear them in the background. Okay. Just pull it tight so the shape hasn't changed any. And then you can take your scissors and just trim that end there. So then we're just going to attach our um, clip and you just want to do the same with this end here exactly the same as you did with that but I just want to show you how to attach your clip and then you are good to go okay so I like to cover as much of this metal part up as possible with the with the yarn I just think it looks a lot prettier so I get it roughly to the position that I want and then I turn it over and it's this sort of this shape here that you want to just stitch around and make sure it's secured quite firmly 
all the way around. I usually go around this about 20 times before I tie it off, just so I know it's not going to move anywhere. Remembering again, this is for a baby or a toddler, so it's going to be used quite a lot. It's going to be put in the wash and things like that, so I like to make sure that it's going to stand for all of that. So if you go ahead and work your way around just until you've got it secure enough and then if you come back to me at that point. Okay so here we go we are all finished we've got the clip on I have attached a dummy on the other end so we're good to go. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial please hit like and subscribe if you have and we will see you very soon. Bye.